Somehow I'm making a third video about this whole RDNA1, RDNA2 driver support debacle, but Hardware Unboxed finally pinned AMD down on a direct answer to the question, will RDNA1 and 2 GPUs receive game support and game optimizations at the same time as RDNA3-4 GPUs for a given newly released game? In other words, taking away any of the ability to weasel around by saying things like, yeah, they'll get game optimizations when market needs it, which to be clear, is what their previous clarification was to Tom's hardware, saying that game optimizations will continue to be delivered as required by market needs. Well, I think that's what happened here is that they probably didn't originally intend to promise that the day zero game optimizations when the driver gets it, uh, same time as RDNA 3 and 4, that's probably not what they intended or else this whole process was kind of pointless. But I think that the massive backlash that they've seen has probably shown that the market did indeed need this to be the case. Anyway, so thank you, uh, Hardware Unboxed, for directly asking the question in a way that requires a direct answer, and they got it. Yes, game optimizations and support for all RDNA series 1 through 4 will roll out at the same time in both driver packages, including, but not limited, to Call of Duty, Crimson Desert, and Resident Evil, which was again Hardware Unbox trying to make it 100% clear and impossible for AMD to add in any sort of uh, weasel words as I discussed in my last video to get around this. They were like, for example, Call of Duty Black Ops 7 releases in a few weeks and in early 2026, we have major game releases such as Resident Evil Requiem and Crimson Desert. When the first driver supporting these games is released, will that driver include support and optimization for all RDNA series 1, 2, 3, and 4 products at the same time. And the official AMD response in writing to Hardway unbo uh, Hardware Unboxed is yes. And thank you, Hardware Unboxed, for pinning them down on this. Um, because again, this is a further update. Uh, you may have seen last night uh, Gamers Nexus and Hardware Unboxed with videos that are a response to AMD's clarification post, which I hadn't had time to film a video about yet. This was going to be that, but I checked had there been any further updates, and that's where we get this. But knowing Hardware Unboxed, they're not like me, where like I'll just do a news video every single day if there's something to talk about. Uh, their news videos are a little more rare, so I think this is, uh, I'm not sure they're going to actually post a full video on this. So since that could be the case, uh, I'm making sure that I'm covering it here because they did clearly post this on Twitter, but if you're not following them on Twitter, you may or may not see this. So I just want to make it 100% clear since I'd already made two different videos uh, talking about this. My first one uh, discussing where they had made it sound like a, there would not be day zero game optimizations for RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 because they were moving them into maintenance mode. Uh, and then I did a follow-up video uh, discussing the weasel word nature of their response to Tom's hardware, uh, which had, again, used that market needs, uh, you know, <laughs> as uh, their way of potentially making it imply that RDNA 1 and 2 would still be getting that day zero driver optimization, but not specifically actually saying it. I'd already made those videos, so again, AMD then made this post, which again, these videos are a response to. God, this whole thing is such a mess. AMD, could you have just made this clear in the first place or better yet, just not have made it sound like you were gonna stop doing driver optimizations. Again, not. I, I never said they would stop driver support, but like the day zero optimizations and things certainly sound like they weren't getting those anymore when you read the driver notes. And then all of their clarifications, even this one, uh, that, uh, again, these videos, if you already watched them, were responding to, even this one still didn't spell it out clearly enough that if you watch the Gamers Nexus video, uh, he was pretty clear that this response wasn't good enough if you read it the right way, meaning this one still, despite everything, left some wiggle room on whether or not the uh, game fixes, game optimizations, game support 
would be happening at the same time for RDNA 1 and 2. Uh, that's the Radeon RX 5000 and 6000 series GPUs, as it would be for RDNA 3 and 4. Because if you read this, it's still unclear that they'd be getting them at the same time. Uh, you could read this as, you know, some games, if they're broken, we might, you know, eventually fix them. I know it doesn't say that, but it also doesn't say that's not the case. So this big clarification from AMD to clarify the clarification they made to Tom's hardware, uh, to clarify the clarification to PC games hardware, to clarify their driver notes, um, <laughs> was still actually unclear. So that is why Hardware Unbox then had to actually pin them down and did get this response. So at this point, uh, if AMD lives up to their uh, what they have directly told uh, Hardware Unboxed, RDNA 1 and 2 should get game-optimized drivers with bu bug fixes at the exact same, same time as RDNA 3 and RDNA 4. And my guess is that that was not their original plan, but that all of this massive backlash has told them that that's what the market needs. That's what I think has happened. And that's why all the people, because let's say most of the comments were pretty supportive of videos like mine and Hardware Unbox and Gamers Nexus, uh, but there was a uh, strong, uh, loud minority of comments basically saying that all of this was blowing things out of proportion. And I'm guessing some of them are gonna see this statement and see, see guys, you were blowing it out of proportion. But I don't think that's what happened. I think that by making a big deal out of this, the tech media has pressured AMD to actually promise what I think they were trying to back out of, which was RDNA 1 and 2 getting those uh, day zero driver optimizations. So if we get to releases of big games like Call of Duty Black Ops 7, etc., and there's a driver update for RDNA 3 and 4 that doesn't include updates for 1 and 2, and there's no separate maintenance branch driver update for 1 and 2, then that means that AMD is not living up to what they have said in writing. So that's the main thing now. AMD has been pinned down to promise at the same time as RDNA 3 and 4 get optimization, so will RDNA 1 and 2. So if they don't live up to that, then we can throw it in their face with writing. So hopefully they just live up to it. This is it. This is all they needed to do from the beginning. But again, if this was their original plan, seems odd to have split the driver branches in the first place, uh, because it seems to me like you could have just maintained the different code pathways within that same thing. I mean, I guess this gets the download size smaller or something, so maybe it still makes sense to have done this, but nothing about what they said previously seem to be promising this. They are pinned down to it. So maybe if this is what they intended all along, then my goodness, why didn't they just say that? Especially in this big clarification post. This big clarification post still, while it promised game support for new releases and stability in game optimizations, to be clear, it never specifically said it would happen at the same time as it would for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4. And that's the big thing. Um, as the RDNA 1 or 2 owner, you don't want to feel like the second class uh, afterthought um, when you're on a product, which to be clear, RDNA 2 is still having new products launched with it right now. The new uh, Xbox Ally X handheld, that uses RDNA 2. Okay, so uh, that is a, uh, you know, <laughs> anyway, this was a big deal. So uh, I, I think that it is now where it should be. I think that the RDNA 1 and 2 users can rest easy as long as we do monitor and make sure this is what actually happened. And hopefully, AMD has now learned their lesson because I've seen a bunch of people who are thinking about buying 9000 series RDNA 4 GPUs or already had getting really nervous that if they'd already bought one, that they're just gonna lose uh, driver support way sooner than they would have intended. Um, also, the people who, are, uh, who hadn't bought one yet were pretty nervous about it. Um, seeing that the, the driver support was looking like at least the optimi optimized, you know, main focus drivers uh, seemed to be a lot lower on the AMD side than the NVIDIA side. So again, 
When AMD, AMD, you are not the market leader here. You need to convince the people who are willing to buy AMD to keep buying AMD. And to grow market share, you need to convince the people who are currently buying Nvidia to switch over to buying AMD, which means you can't show that you have like less driver support, et cetera, for op game optimizations than the competition. You just can't do that. So seems like we're good now, but man, it seems disastrous that they ever considered that not being the case or, uh, you, or if they always were going to be doing this, then my goodness, why did it, was that not clear in your original driver notes? Why was it not clear in your clarification to PC games hardware, still not cl clear in your clarification to Tom's hardware, and then still not even 100% clear in your own blog post clarifying your clarification of your clarification of your driver notes? But I think we're good now. Is that enough? <laughs> okay, guys, I think it's over. I think we've done it. I think they've been pinned down. I think RDA 1 and 2 users can breathe easy, but we do just need to keep an eye on things and make sure that this does actually happen. And I hope all of you have an excellent day.